This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Investigate and modify. Look at how the my integer variable is assigned a new value on line 18. Okay. 18. Quacha. All right. Actually, I want to hit run. I want to know what it does. Does it do anything? Ooh. Ooh, it does a lot. Okay. We'll get back to that. Well, wait. My integer. Oh, it prints out a bunch of stuff. New integer. Okay. Cool. So line 18. Assign a new value to the my double and other my other string variables using the same syntax. And syntax is a fancy name for code grammar, right? So we want to make sure we have, you know, the equal sign and a semicolon. So my double. Do we create my double up here? Oh, yeah, right there. And we use my integer. Oh, yeah, it's also right up there. Okay, so one. Assign new values. Alrighty. Well, my double. So more double and I'm going to follow their pattern right we got an example of my integer and a new value 89.3 okay uh, I don't could be uh ours oh I have one what about a uh, 4.2 I don't know why but sure or hey let, let's be what about a 99.8 cool all right that's my double semicolon and now what else? My other string. Okay, so my other string with their weird casing. And then am I going to do new string? I could. Hmm. Sure, I can follow their pattern here. Notice that both of these are work the exact same way when assigning a value to a string. My other string, and I'm going to say hello world because I am very creative. Boom. Okay. Try changing the value. As, well, wait, I want to know what this does. Oh, we're not going to see it yet because it prints it there. So if I do this and I hit run and it's like, Mr. Geyser, you lied to me. I, I don't see any different value. Oh, they already used hello world, though. But we're not going to see it till we print it. So instead of hello world, that's lame. Code is cool. Ha, now I'm original. All right. Print v new values. Print the new values of blah, 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 blah. Okay, so like they have here where they print out the integer. So we could grab it up here, right? Copy and paste almost, but I'll write it out. It's good practice. Okay, and let's see if they actually show up now. Yep, code is cool. Yep, it's all there. Cool. Try changing the value assigned to the my integer variable on line 18 to a decimal what happens okay well here's line 18 sure i'll change it to a decimal uh, 0.8 or maybe i'll just put up here 27.8 it's gonna yell at us we could not compile look for bugs and it even shows us right and that's because an integer an integer is defined as a whole number it can't be a decimal and a fraction an integer has to be a complete a whole number no slicey dicey with our integers okay try change yep okay try changing the value assigned to my string variable on line seven to a number without quotation marks line seven right here okay to a number no quotes so my number will be 12 run and i bet it's gonna yell Yep, we couldn't compile, look for bugs. And that's because, guys, a string has to have quotes around it. It's a chunk of text. It could be one word, it could be nine words, It's a, or it could be two letters. It's a chunk of text. I'm going to undo that so it works again. So, Control-Z to undo. Try changing what it happens inside. What happens? Cool. Well, hey, it's back working. We're good to go. Onward.